Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're actually, it's gonna be more of a quick tip because I've had a few requests lately on how to put multiple layouts on one sheet of paper so there's a more efficient use of your paper when you're printing. So as you can see on screen, this is the final outcome of this tutorial. As you can see, we've got trim marks on all of our layouts so it'll be really, really easy to cut all of these out. And there's also a bleed line there so we won't have any white edges with us. So if we hop into the original layout. You can see this is a concert ticket. I'll leave a link in the video description and on the video to my editable PDF tutorial because this technique could come in handy big time if you sell your own editable PDFs over on Etsy or if you're creating editable PDFs for a client. Um, that's a great tutorial to follow if you're wondering how to do that uh, in the best way. Okay, so once you have your layout all ready to go, you can see this one has bleeds because I've got color that extends past the artboard or past the ticket size. So all you're gonna do is go File, Save As, and choose where you're gonna save it, and save it as a PDF. So in this Format dropdown, choose PDF, hit Save, and then when the PDF dialog box shows up, go over to Marks and Bleeds, and you wanna make sure Use Bleed Settings is checked if you do have a bleed on your layout. And then you're also gonna check trim marks right here. Whether or not you have a bleed, always make sure you have trim marks. That way you've got those marks where you can trim everything down exactly and you don't have to worry about any weird crooked lines or measuring. So once you have these checked, you can hit save PDF. All the other defaults, uh, default PDF settings are perfectly fine. Okay, so once it's saved, you're gonna create a new document, file new. And for my document, I'm just gonna keep it a standard eight and a half by 11 portrait orientation with a color mode of CMYK because this is gonna be printed. And the resolution right here is at 300 because that's the standard print resolution. And hit okay. And now that we have this, all we're gonna do is go file place. And we're gonna choose the PDF that we just created place it in. And this is pretty cool. If you have multiple pages in your PDF, you can actually, these are disabled because I only have one page, but you can actually toggle through the different pages and choose the page that you want. So if what you want to place on here is not on the first page, you still have access to it here. But since I only have one page, I'm just going to hit OK. And now it's going to drop it right in the middle of my page. And because I can fit more than one on a page, I'm going to drag it up. And as I'm dragging it up, I'm going to hold Shift so it stays centered. And next, I'm gonna make a copy of it by holding Alt on my keyboard, click, and as I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold Shift, and this will keep it aligned, vertically aligned with the previous one. So these trim marks right here are aligned with each other, so when I go to cut it out, I can cut here, lift up, cut here, and I don't have to move my ruler at all. Okay, so I've got room to fit one more, so I'm gonna hold Alt, click, drag, as I'm dragging, hold Shift to keep it straight, release, and if I want all of these proportionally spaced. All I have to do is rubber band select all of them and then click this little icon up here for vertical distribute center. And you can see this one toggled down a little bit and now there's the exact same amount of space between each one of these. So that's all you have to do. And from here, if you, um, if you wanted to make this an editable PDF, before you save this as a PDF, you're gonna wanna delete the text that you wanna make editable because once you have it as a PDF over here, it's, it's kind of stuck there. It's almost like a JPEG where um, you can't separate them anymore. So just make sure you remove any text that you want to become editable here before saving it as a PDF. So if you just want to print these out in bulk and you've got all the text that you need for every single one, like if it's a wedding invitation, then just save it out with the text already on there. So that's how to create multiple layouts on one page. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of freebies. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.